Here's one of our red tails on the limb. Got one here looking around and one in the nest. It had a little communication this morning, so. It's just a little after 7.30. I thought I'd come down and see if I can get in on a shift change. They're a good looking pair of red tails. Keep an eye on this one. I'm thinking this is the male. I've been watching closely. In the back, he's a little lighter. Those light feathers on his back of his wings are lighter than hers, so. That's one way of telling. He's just sitting up here. She's in the nest peeking out. He's been doing this routine uh, several times already. Let me see. Okay, now she's getting up a little bit more. I figured they just newly hatched. I'm going to do a stretch now. Look at that. All right. And you can see they put some fresh leaves right there on the right side of that upright stick. That's one of their routines when they hatch. It's kind of an instinct. Oh yeah, she's looking good standing there now. Let's see if she'll take a little stretch here and off she goes. All right, we'll see how long she's gone then. I timed it just right. Yeah, it looks like she's coming back in the hole that beautiful red tail. All right, just landed. See what she's gonna do here. See if she's gonna. It didn't look like she had any food, so she's gonna just take a little break here. Watch her for a bit. Getting back down on her, keeping everything warm and cozy. Coming back in, gonna have a shift change now. This is Mama. Papa had relieved her earlier. And brought in some food for her and called her off. She took out of the nest, flew over there, and then uh, gave it to her whatever had in the tree there, whatever he brought in. So yeah, he flew over here and got in. So I believe that's uh, him in the nest. See what happens here. Shift up we go. That's him and off he goes. Now Mama's going to get back in there. So we had a shift change on our red tail lock nest. That's where it was. I brought her a little snack to we'll see what she's going to do. Checking on everything. Get all cozy here. 10.32 now, so I probably gave them their breakfast already. Back down we go. Here comes the other mate in. They're flying around together. I think one's going to go into the nest. Yep, coming in right now. Zoom, there we are. How cool is that? Let's see if they poke their little heads up. Well, maybe they're going to take off again. We'll see. She's got some food in there. She might give them a snack. I saw a glimpse of their heads the other day when she was feeding. We'll see. She's getting something ready again. Let's see if we get some heads lifted up a little higher today. Every couple days makes a big difference with these guys. They grow like crazy. They feather out fast. All right, let's go fly over to the mate now. Off she goes. She must have gave them a good breakfast. They didn't peek up, so they're just... <laughs> Probably sound asleep, 65 degrees, and they're full, got full crops, well, we'll see, there's a little head, the yeah, apple we'll come up, I heard you mom, where'd you go, <laughs> yeah, 
that was the best view we got so far. Got up there fairly good. She just flew in, check up on them, make sure they're all right. They heard her calling, so that's why they looked out. Yeah, we'll look around a little more here. Come in a little bit more here, maybe. Maybe we can see what's going on in our nest here today. Getting a little bit of a breeze. There we go. Some looking around. Got one peeking up. Buddy. Usually they have three or four, so I haven't been able to get a head count yet. This is the best view we got so far. I hope we got more than one. Normally we do. But sometimes there is only one. With red tails, usually three or four. I got two. All right, little guys, look at them. Isn't that something? My goodness. That's our first good view of our red tails. We'll share this with our friends. They come in the morning and get a good shot. Afternoon, the sun's shooting me in the face, so mornings are better here. Good-looking little guys. All right. Leave it on 104. Sometimes they back up to the edge of the nest and fire over the edge there, trying to keep the nest clean. So get ready for that. Well, that was good. Mom flew in and woke him up. Can't beat that. Now we know we got at least two in there and they're moving around pretty good. She just flew up on her perch. If I can zoom in on her a little bit. She's been gone. There she goes, coming on in. There's our landing. See what we get. There you go, both of them in there now. Look at that. Yeah, food delivery. Yeah, yeah, proud parents. The little guys poking their heads up. This is our red tail nest. 350 South 38th Court. 7.04 in the morning. And it's breakfast time. We counted two heads the other day, so I figure that's what we got. We'll see how they do here. Nice and cool this morning, still 58 degrees. All right, she's getting it ready. One behind the stick and one right here on the right hand side. Oh, yeah. Those guys are growing. Watch this one. Okay, hope we get in a good position here. We can get a good view. Breakfast time, red tailed hawk's nest. Call this the Panther Creek red tailed nest because it's a dry run, it's a steep ravine. They call it Panther Creek. It's between the hospital, the Valley Medical Center, and 350 South 38th Court. That's the red tailed address. Oh, yeah, look at him grabbing it. That's a good feeding shot today. The other one's behind the center limb there, it's holding the nest up. They'll get fed too. I'm glad they decided to sail in in this position and give us a good view. Oh, they're just growing. Look at these guys. I can't wait to share this with our friend. We've been waiting oh, since they hatched to get a shot like this. Absolutely. There's the other one peeking, sneaking up there now. Yep, this one is right in the perfect spot for us. Yep, we got 
several nests we're watching. We got a couple of eagle nests we're watching. We got a red-tailed hawk nest. This is my favorite red-tailed nest because we're just about level with the nest. It's a high park amount I'm in and it's perfect. Other nest you gotta shoot up with like a straight angle, you wouldn't be able to get any of this. But... Oh yeah, we got both of them going now. This is great. They are having a great feed. There you go, both of them. Look at these guys. <laughs> having their breakfast. I heard the female calling, and the male showed up, and we got both of them going in. It couldn't be better. You like this. There's some happy campers here. Back off just a little bit, maybe. I would try it at 85. There we go. Oh yeah, look at these guys. They can really chow down too. They're getting good with their food. Birds of prey grow so fast. But they always say every three days makes such a big difference. They're feathering coming in. And, well, like our prairie falcons. Uh, and our Cooper's hawks, it's actually like five and a half weeks. Five weeks they can fly from the time they hatch, so it doesn't take long. Red tails are fairly close, but it's a little bit more for them. They're in the perfect spot. Try to get some still shots on these videos and see what we get. I want to watch them feed. I spent many a day coming here to get this shot. <laughs> Coming in good. I'll zoom in a little bit more. There we are at 104. Kind of taking us out of focus on them a little bit, I think. They're stick with 85. Mama brought in, she dissects it and hands it out. Papa was out on the hunt and brought in fresh food. See how they do here. Right. Watch them feed here. She's giving them a good feed, finishing up. Papa was out hunting and she was in the tree and had a little communication. He kept calling and he'd come in with the food. Brought it right into the nest. Both adults landed about the same time that she got it ready to start feeding these little guys. They got over on this side of that center limb, and now we get a good view of them today. Alright, you got something. So far, we got two of them. They're still in their little white fuzzy stage. Maybe they're two weeks old, so. That's what's going on there. Those cute little guys, they're feisty ready. They've been busy in the nest since 6.30 this morning, waiting for breakfast. Now here we are, they'll get fed up good. <laughs> then they'll lay down and sleep. You want to get shots like this, you got to get up early. You got to be here for breakfast. It's all timing. And sometimes you're just a little bit late. And that today it worked out perfect. And they're in the right spot. See, you got that center limb there always in the way. And now she's feeding off to the side. The sun's right. The little guys are showing right up against her plumage. They're okay, number two. So give me a bite. A little food fight for the little guy already. Right. They're survivors. Oh, yeah. We've documented this nest in the past year, but this, I think this is the best feeding shot we've ever got. I think our 
friends will enjoy it. And the address for this nest, call this to Panther Creek, Red Tail Nest, is right between the Valley Medical Center, the hospital in Brenton, Washington, and 350 South 38th Court. Just drive it in the parking lot, put up my window mount, zoom in, and this is what I get. Oh, yeah. Little guy's just chowing down. What a great day. Great red tail hawk feeding. Good view of Mama here in all her colors. A great view of the adults flying in. I made several videos. Okay, and off she goes now. I will see what they do. Said, hey, Mom, was that it? <laughs> they're cute at this stage. Look at them. Boy, they're happy campers. They had a good breakfast. Can't wait to get this all put together. Probably edited it all together here where they're flying in and everything. All right, you little guys, show your wings. You want to see what stage you're at? And the fire over, watch this how they keep the nest clean. They got, boom, he fires over. See them? You see on the trunk of the tree, you're getting some whitewash now, too. So, But they got them, uh, the age now, they can fire over the edge, and that keeps their nest clean. And it looks like they're about down for the count then. I'll call that good. I just flew in here, got food or a stick. All right, putting some bedding in. A little head come up. Check that out, would you? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's one of the little ones. What's going on, Mom? Well, just tidying up, bringing in some bedding. All right. They're good parents. The little guys have been firing over the edge and starting to paint the tree trunk with whitewash and the twigs in the nest. So we'll see how they're doing here. That yeah, woke them up, little guy. Yeah. Adults are just tidying up the nest a little bit. It's uh, past breakfast time. They've probably already been fed. It's 7.45, so we'll see what happens. But they stand up and fire over the edge of the nest. Time a little bit of a misfire, so that's why they're bringing in some more bedding. They've got a little bit of leaves on it, freshen it up a little bit. We'll watch and see how they do now. They're moving about pretty good there. Two of these guys, two and a half weeks old, keep an eye on them, we'll see how active they get now, they woke up as soon as uh, mama showed up. Call that pretty much good. Looks like they're settled back down now. We'll wait for the next activity here. All right, little guys are waking up a little bit. They had breakfast because it's 8 31 now. They always feed them early in the morning. All night. Food, so they're hungry. Now they're starting to go, oh yeah, look at this guy. He's a fire over the edge, baby. Keep the nest clean. He's stretching. She's getting little wing feathers now. They're getting big. It's a little over three weeks old now. They hatched out May the first. Oh, they can really fire. Look at him. <laughs> we got two of these great little guys. Oh, yeah, what a pose. 
We got to see him good. He's got a sibling in there, same age. We always enjoy documenting. We want to try to document them every day because they grow so fast. So. Yeah, we're going to play a little bit. Let's see if his sibling will get up now. The adult, this is females up in the tree guarding them. In case a raven or any other predator comes by, she can get them out of the area. They're very protective of their young. And the male, he's out trying to catch breakfast, so. We'll see what happens here. We'll get some good sunshine, enjoying that. We have a uh, cottonwood trees are seeding out. That's what it looks like snow going by. A lot of cottonwood trees here. It's that season. Well, that was a good view of that little guy. We're happy he put on a show for us. His sibling wants to sleep. I thought he'd get up and join him. But that's it. That little bathroom break stretched a little bit. Down to the count. So we'll call that good for now. Wait till we get a little more action. Beautiful sunrise. Red tail sitting up in her favorite tree. Printing the feathers this morning, you really see a red tail. Rufus Red. That's the color of that rusty red tail. And she's preening her feathers, and I can hear the youngsters in the nest call a little bit. So they're probably thinking about a little breakfast. We'll watch her for a minute. The sun is just absolutely perfect this morning, and I wanted to get a good view of her. And our hatchlings are just about four weeks old now. So they should be <laughs> looking pretty good today. They should be more active. Well, every day they get more and more active. But we will get them exercising a little bit and playing in the nest. Oh, right, look at that stretch. Now, there you go. Get to see all the markings on the feathers. Well, it looks like got here at the right time again. Nice stretch, showing off all the colors, the lighting coming in perfectly. It's 6.09 in the morning, so I got down here a little earlier, hoping to get in on the breakfast feed. Myself a little makeover this morning. I think we'll zoom in on the nest a little bit. I'll back off. Come over to the nest now. Zoom in on that. Getting up yet. Well, I think I see a little bit in there. Let's see. Growing. Well, that's what they look like at four weeks. Everybody yeah, wants to snatch it away from them. So. <laughs> well, let's see how it goes here. They're having their breakfast now. 7.25 in the morning. Oh yeah, they squabble a little bit this day. Trying to keep the other away every time he wants to get up. Look at it. They're getting aggressive. They both get fed. There's plenty of food. There's Mama giving that one a bite. We'll watch them have their feed here this morning. <laughs> little guy stands right there, won't let the other one get close. But the way it works in the nest, is that once that one gets full, well, then he quits being aggressive and the other one get fed. So they'll all get fed. Yeah, he's got quite a routine there. A little food fight here. I'll try it. <laughs> See, 
They're tough little guys. They know that competition. Yep, the protest. We'll see what happens here. Yep. Well, we're getting to see some good action today. We'll see how they act when they get four weeks old. Yep, tomorrow, be four weeks old. They're pretty aggressive. Watch them. They're in survival mode. They know what they're doing. Been coming down early, so I wanted to get in on the breakfast. Glad I got here today. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's why they call it the pecking order, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You're not getting any. I haven't got this spot. I'm next. You'll have to wait. All that. Look at these guys. What a good view of her feathering, too, the adult. Good looking red tails here. All right, where is she going to take off now? And off she goes. Well, we'll see how the feud goes here. Oh my goodness, look at that. See, I thought you were my buddy. <laughs> There we go. Watch them now. They're good, healthy birds. They're both getting fed good. Don't settle down, now they'll wait for brunch. They can put the food away. All right. They had quite a deal. Breakfast has been served. Come back in a little bit more here. There we go. They're just sitting up there watching the fuzz go by from the cottonwood. Now they'll just wait until the next feeding. painting the trunk of that tree white. They can work on that. All right, then. I think we can call that pretty much good. They've had their little snack. The feud's over, and they've settled down now, and they're waiting for the next round. Enjoy the video. Delivered. This is what they've been waiting for. All right, check it out. Brunch time at the Red Tail Hawk look at their feathering. It's been a couple days since we came by and documented. We knew they'd be feathered out pretty good. How lucky was that? Got here just in time for the feed. Now let's see how it goes here. Just gotta get them lined up so they mind their table manners. But they always give them a good breakfast. They had that. And now it's uh, 11.38. She just flew in with food. This is brunch, so we'll see how it goes. They've been hungry. They were up a couple of times calling. And I hung in here, and next thing I know, she was calling too to the mate. They finally uh, caught something for lunch, and now we're going to serve it up. Looks like a small item. It wasn't that big. But she should give it out for me. This is a great nest to watch because I'm right in my car, use my window mount, and the angle from me to the nest is about 20 degrees, so it's not very steep, and I can see in there pretty good. So it's a great chance to document it. Well, they're having their feed. She's getting it tore up, they're just a snatching it. <laughs> we'll see how long they get it. Boy, they were right in there, too. Yeah, they were hungry. Brunch time at the Red Tail Hawk Nest. Yeah, looks like a pretty good size item. Boy, trying to take it away. Look at that. Now we'll see how it goes. 
Let's stay right here and see how she does. Okay, one for you. Behind the limb, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, they were just a call and they got up and exercised a couple of times. And she was talking back to them and then she flew over because the mail had come in with some food and she sailed in here. They knew it. They saw her fly. So. Got set up just at the right time. Red tail hawks are having their brunch. Well, I'm glad I come down for the noon feeding. Got here just at the right time. Okay, in we go. I see it landed again. What are you hollering about? You got any more food? Well, I brought you a rodent. Let's see what goes on now. Oh, yeah, we're getting a good look at him now. All right, I'm going to straighten up a stick. They do a lot of hauling in sticks at this stage because they fire over the edge and they have a misfire once in a while. And all part of keeping the nest clean. Happy campers today. Oh yeah, got a little bite looks like, sure. I'm gonna get be fed. I've been crying and wanting food, she found him something. Alright, all get fed here. They got good appetites. Lunch time around two at the red tail nest. She brought in something earlier and now we're taking care of this. Papa's really been hauling in the food. He's on the ball now. Look at these guys, they're really getting agile. Gee. <laughs> have a little food fight, have a feeding, a little food fight going on. Kind of crowd the other one over, see? Don't kick him out of the nest. Don't mind your manners, you know. I don't usually come down this time of day, but I had some business, so I thought I'd swing by and check, and it's a good thing I did. Nothing you like better than getting in on a noon feeding on a red tail nest. Oh, yeah, they're getting right into it. They feed him around 08, 39 in the morning, and then uh, about this time, in the afternoon, 12 o'clock or a little afternoon. So. Now they'll sleep. Once they get filled up now, they'll sleep. She's giving them a good feed. So we'll let it run, see how long this one will go here. I'm back in my favorite spot. Oh yeah, look, down the hatch we go. They're getting a good feed here, my goodness. I've seen them bring in a lot of things. Sometimes they bring in garter snakes, all kinds of things. And out we go. So that was it. Brought in a small one. That one was a rodent. This one kind of looked like it might have been a garter snake. And I got one of them stood up, doing a nice stretch. They're calling, thinking about breakfast. They're hungry. Been calling for a while. Fire over the edge. 
Look how big they're getting. And hungry. And today, they're five weeks old. Siblings kind of taking these. This one's really looking. The adult female came back. She was from one tree to the next. So they think they're probably going to get some breakfast. So that's what they're all excited about. And with a little luck, one of them will come in with some food for them. The male's out hunting. Keeps him busy with these two guys to feed, plus himself. And some for mama. So. She's in the tree and the perch will guard them. If a rabbit or anything goes down below, she'll swoop down and try to catch it. Young squirrels and such, even garter snakes. Any little rabbits or anything like that. They're vulnerable. They're a good hunter too. Redtail's an excellent rabbit hog. They catch, uh, you know, small birds. Came with a young robin the other day and a mole, too. I brought in a mole, so they get a, quite a variety. But it's breakfast time. These guys are hungry. So we'll watch them for a bit. They're making their calls. See, they're getting the feathers on the top of the head now. The wing feathers are just all feathered out, even on the back. Okay, they're going to lay down again. Getting the breast feathers, I got the beige tint to them now, so. Doesn't take long. It's five weeks out of the egg to here, that's where we're at. It's nice and cool for them in the morning here. It's 8.27 now. I came early. Get in on the feeding and try to document it. Really cool. He sees her in the tree. That's why the head cocked. I saw her fly over there in the lookout tree. And this one's letting her know we need food. Hopefully there'll be a delivery soon. I'll call that good then. Just landed feeding time. See what we got going here. They've been waiting all morning. Looks like just a drop off small item so whoever was the quickest got that one we'll watch for a little bit and see what's going on here it's 10 o'clock right on the dot just flew in and dropped off some food everyone's got it Let's see how it goes here one right by the limb in the center of the nest. That's the one that got it. When they bring in a small rodent, that's what they just drop it off and the quickest one gets it and then has to wait for the next delivery. So it all works out. Now a rabbit, well then she'd be in there dissecting it and feeding it. So that was a food drop off. They're looking good. We're hungry. Waiting all morning, calling and exercising. And I've been here since 7 o'clock. I think it's 10 o'clock now, so. I finally got a food delivery, and one of them's got it. So that means it's just a small item. And the sibling, we'll oh, just have to wait till the next delivery. Let it run. 
one will be. You're the other one calling, <laughs> protesting. I didn't get a bite. One of them coughed up a casting this morning, so they're all well fed from yesterday. The days are long, they'll get fed. Nobody goes hungry here. There's plenty of food. And that's trees right here at the Panther Creek Dry Run, unless it rains. It's all full of rabbits and all kinds of rodents and young squirrels and birds and stuff. So there's plenty of food, garter snakes, anything you think of. I got a good variety of food. Oh, they're just really chowing down. See how long it takes to devour this delivery. And down the hatch. You know, but it's like a small bird foot or something. Yeah. They must have nailed a bird. We'll see when we get on the big screen. Down the hatch we go. up here. That's what happens with a small egg. No need to share it. They can handle their holding it with their own feet now and dissecting their own food on the small items. They're maturing quite quickly. So they're getting all feathered out in the back now. Every day makes a big difference. And the head has still got a lot of white on it, got dark feathers on the top, and the side feathers are coming in the head. So they're just about uh, feathered out for their juvenile plumage. They already got the beige on the chest. So. This is a lucky one. Got breakfast delivery. Sibling, well, he keeps calling. Hoping there's a speck left, but there won't be. It's a small item. That's what it looks like. Breakfast time. I guess it's brunch now because it's in the park. Brunch time at the Red Tail Hawk Nest. Right up here by the Valley Medical Center, right in Washington. Is uh, got a dry run, Panther Creek, and the rain that flows into the creek in the valley there, Seuss Creek, or Springbrook Creek, I mean. And, uh, a lot of good game area, so plenty of food. All right, then, looks like it's just about finished up. He was the lucky one. We'll call that good now. We'll get on our way and try to come back and get in on the next feeding. Alright, got the wings out. Stretching a little bit. Enjoying the dry day. Two days of rain, now they can preen their feathers and enjoy it today. It's nice and dry. And they're just kind of waiting for another delivery, brunch. Or he had one delivery, waiting for the second one. Now they got preen feathers and get all in shape. Feathers all oiled up, all into the nest with food. Here we go. See if she brought some food. She's back, checking up on him. Uh, no, nope, just checking up. Out she went, seeing if they're okay. And just did a little nest check, and it's like she's off on the hunt again, trying to find something for a little bit of a brunch. Well, that was good, get her sailing in there. You can see how orange the feathers are getting on their breast. They're busy oiling up their feathers. They were staying dry for two days. Now they're oiling up their feathers and 
getting all in shape. I'm waiting for the next food delivery. They've been growing fast. And I'll show you what every couple days what a difference it makes. Alright then. This one's calling a little bit. I'm looking around to see if I can see a red tail flying. I don't. So she should be back with food as soon as she can catch something. She did come in to check up on them, see if there's any food in the nest, see how they're doing. Flap those wings a little bit. Always oh, grabbing stuff with his foot, looks like. Kind of playing. Oh, yeah, practicing his grabbing. See how these talons work. Exercise his lungs now, doing their call. I think that'll work out good. Guy's playing a little bit, the other one preening, flap those wings, oh yeah, do a wing dance, look at this guy. Yep, getting energized now, that's good. Flap those wings. Feel that breeze and it blows it, kind of excites him, he starts flapping the wings a little bit. Oh, we'll see what the other one does. Okay, he's going to exercise too a little bit. Look at that guy. Hop over the edge of the nest. What a great shot. Getting more active now. I can hear him calling again. I think that's good. I'll try to get some still shots then. Just a little bit more here. Looking up, trying to see what the adults are doing. Uh, this one's turning around. All right, gonna do a little more wing exercise. Look at that stretch. Wow. I can see the color on the breast looking really good. Lighting is absolutely perfect. Well, we like that. All right, well, I think we can call that pretty much good. And we'll try to zoom in when they come in with the food. What's this one looking at? Give them one second here. They're just looking around. I'm gonna start preening too. All right, we'll call that good. And in we come. Got a little snack here. Something small, I think. One got it. She just sailed in. Something small. Look at this guy. He's got the food. Isn't that something? My goodness. She's been hunting for a while. Finally caught something. Now she'll go catch something for the other one. And off she goes. So has got the wings out, hiding it from the other one. That's called mantling. You know, we just have to be patient until the next food item comes in. Watch this one have a little snack here. They've been calling for a while and pruning their feathers. We got uh, both adults hunting. Just we have a good feed then. Let's see how we do here. Okay. One thirty six. Having lunch, a little wait, be ready for the next one.
been a couple days since we've been here, and they're getting more feathered out. Always enjoy it when we get here at feeding time. She was up in the tree for quite a while, and they were preening and calling, and then she finally took off and went hunting, and this one got lucky. Spooky red tail gets the prey. <laughs> and quick, gotta be quick. She comes in, whoever gets there first gets it. Don't need to worry, they'll all get fed. Looking over, but knows better than to try to get in on it because they won't share now. Size prey item, have a good snack. All right, this one's trying to flap his wings a little bit. There at the brancher stage, his sibling went out on the limb, kind of hiding behind the leaves, and this will be the next one. Try his luck at going out there. He had breakfast, so. Look at that. Exercise those wings and use them talons. And off to the right, the limb. Got a lot of leaves and siblings out there hiding somewhere. And that's what it takes. Well, it's just about my turn. They're playing. This is the Bratcher stage. Now start venturing out on the limb and back. Flapping the wings, exercising. It doesn't take long for him to be able to fly, I'll tell you. Oh yeah, work those wings. Red tail wing dance, there we go. If the adults bring in some food and the siblings will come sailing back in here. We'll watch this guy do a little exercise here. We like that. He made a couple of calls to the sibling and I didn't hear the sibling call back, so. Watch his little exercise session. Nothing we like better than a red tail wing dance. And there you go. Check that out. Now I can see the beige on the chest. His head's just about all feathered out. Didn't take long. We watched it when they were incubating the eggs bit on the nest from start to finish. Now we got one on the limb hiding and this one here exercising getting ready to go on the limb himself. So look at that guy. Oh yeah, really working it now. Like I say, every couple days makes a big difference to these guys. food to be delivered. Both adults are out hunting and this one's doing the wing exercise. His sibling's hiding out on the limb. They got all those leaves to hide by him, but like I say, when they bring in food, it'll be right back in there. miss out on the lunch. They're still sleeping in the nest. 
and eating in the nest. So that's the way it goes with the red-tailed hawk nest. Right at the brancher stage now. Get a long shot here. See what happens. Kind of settling down now. I zoom back so I can see if the other one just flaps his wings off in the background somewhere. Got a good hiding place. All right, exercise time. Now I'm gonna look for some scraps. Huh? Let's see. Yeah, found something to play with. See, he doesn't have a full crop, so he's ready for lunch. Try to hang in here a little longer and see what happens. I'll call that good for now then. Looks like he's gonna check around down in the nest. There's one up here. Just flopped a wing. Check and see what's going on here. Check that out. He's really feeling energetic now. Came out of the nest, walked up the inclined limb, and hopped up here on a horizontal branch, flapping the wings. Just happy to be a brancher now. And we're happy he moved up here in a good spot. Watch him. I'll hang in here a little while longer and see what happens when they bring in breakfast, see how quick they can get back into the nest. Or see if she feeds them where they're at. They will later, but I think still now she'll go right to the nest. Okay, just kind of checking around. Gonna work the feathers a little bit. It's only 6.37, so it's a beautiful morning. We got our red tail showing off for us a little bit, so we're happy, bud. Back off for the relationship to where the nest is. And there's the nest. Lower left hand corner. Was with that horizontal limb and hopped up here. We're getting around pretty good. Got a red tail playing hide and seek, but there he's moving a little bit. Tail feathers and tip of his wings. Moving his head a little bit. Now, yeah, now we get to see him. See how well he blends in? He's the brancher now. So he's hiding out in the leaves, waiting for the adult to bring in breakfast and see how quick he can get back to the nest. It's right below him. Watch everything that moves up here. And this is the stage they're at. Learn to hang on the limbs and hide behind the leaves. That's the brancher stage. When he flies the next tree over, he'll be a fledgling now. Which won't be too much longer. They're doing great. We've watched them from start to finish here pretty much. Watch the adults incubate, figured out when these guys hatch, watched every chance we got, feedings. Pretty much 
document the whole nesting cycle. See if we can uh, locate one of the other ones then. Watching a few little birds fly over, looking at everything. See what she's going to do here. What are they looking at? I'm curious. She's going to change perches or what? Got a good horizontal limb now. Just the right size for the feet and everything. Alright, let's see. Let's sit there perfect. Alright, exercise. Gonna move up a little bit. Explore. There you go. On a little flimsy limb now. I can see the dappled fawn spots on the back. Looks like sunlight coming through on a tree trunk. So it's good camouflage. He got in the right spot for us. See what's going on here. He just showed up. See if she can. Yeah, there you go. Branches back for the food. Look at that. He's hungry. <laughs> Absolutely. Look at this guy. Take him long to get back in the nest. How cool is that? Twelve twenty-five. Male flew in with the food. Female was in the observation tree, and she flew down. And the male took off. And she uh, hung on to the food. And then the youngster came in and got it. The brancher. Let's see what's going on here now. Just got the one showed up. How many little more ears have we got? Playing with something in there. Practicing with the feet and the talons, testing the grip. We're at the fun stage now, it's full juvenile plumage. In a couple of days, they will fly from one tree to the other. And go up on the branches ready so yep, just practicing grabbing stuff exercising the wings a little bit Making a couple calls, and she's got a fair amount of food in the crop. Fairly bulged it out. And up on the limb we go. Keep an eye on this guy, see where he goes here. He's a brancher, he's done eating. Back up on the branch now. And back in. He's <laughs> having a good time. There we are. Been a good nest here. You can really see right in here, see all the activities. Oh, up we go again. Figure out where he is now. <laughs> well, I'm a brancher. They can hide in those leaves, I'll tell you. Disappearing there pretty good. Alright, 
I think we'll call that pretty much good. Here's our pair of red tails. They're watching the nest. Branches over there calling, wanting some breakfast. The two adults are sitting here. Just kind of enjoying the morning. We'll see what happens here a little bit. First time I've got them side by side, you can see a slight difference in the size. And all morning, the branch has been calling. What? Oh yeah, adults calling now. But they'll uh, get them fed. They can go 24 hours without food now once they fill them up because they're full size of branches. They'll be fed once a day if they stuff them. So. The adults holler at the crows. Every time they come in, the crows think they have food, so they start pestering them. They have no food, they're just kind of preening their feathers sitting out here enjoying the morning. And if they go to the nest, I'll zoom in. But the branches over there are hidden behind the leaves and when they bring food to the nest, it will be right back in there. And that's how it looks this morning at the red-tailed hawk nest. filtered light, we get to watch the pair together, so we're all excited about it. We've watched the whole process, nesting cycle, from start to finish. We documented about every stage of the nesting cycle. We'll watch them preen. They've nested here for several years. I've documented them in the past, but I had other projects, so I didn't do a full nesting cycle. But this year I did, so. That's our pair of red tails. You can hear the Rancher in the nest tree calling. Now they're getting their feathers all squared away. Had a little rain last night, so they're oiling up their feathers, getting waterproofed again. Looking pair of red tails. You can see the talons there. It's good for catching rabbits. <laughs> Catch a lot of good things here in the Panther Creek. It's a dry run. There's a lot of rabbits down in there, squirrels, all kinds of things. And during nesting season, you get a lot of young birds too, so they bring in quite an assortment of food. And they never pass up a garter snake either, so they like those. This year they even brought in a mole, a good sized mole. It's a big one. Alright, I call that pretty much good then. Here's our fledgling exercise this morning. They delivered him some food in the nest. They just got here, he's been eating on it. Adults up in the tree. Let's see how they do here. Try to center him up a little bit. There we are, got a slight breeze going today. There we are, that's what it looks like. Good healthy red tail. Had a good
good feed in the nest this morning. Had breakfast. Been exercising and playing a little bit now. Yep, got something in there. We've been keeping track of them. Fully feathered out in juvenile plumage now. It's officially a fledgling. We go to the closest tree and then back to the nest now when they bring in a big prey item. So we see it probably was a bunny or something and they delivered it to the nest. And now we're just kind of playing around in there a little bit. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. Try to come by every day and check up and see what's going on. Yesterday was calling away in the tree that wouldn't, didn't come into the nest. But today we get to have a show. There you go. It's amazing how fast they get it back. Look at that beautiful beige on the chest. It's grabbing with the talons and practicing. Like I say, the adult's up in the lookout tree. Keeping an eye on things. I'm in my spot. In my window mount, keeping an eye on things. This is what happened. Just feeling frisky this morning, playing, has a little snack. Had a stick in the mouth. Yeah. Just playing with sticks. Just enjoying grabbing things with the feet and the talons and the beak. It's more or less a recess. Having a little exercise. We spend most of the time up on the limb behind the leaves, then when they bring the food. A big item like the bunny in the nest come and eats it in there. And now it's time to exercise and play a little bit. I went by the Maplewood Bold Eagles. Didn't see any of them in the tree this morning, so I continued on down here, and I'll check them again on the way back. And up on a limb. Let's see if we can see where this guy goes. They can disappear so quick. I see him up in there now. I see him. He can hide, I'll tell you. There he is. See that blends in there? Out of the nest, up on the perch. Keep an eye on for just a little bit longer. See which Lemmy goes to next. Or her, whichever the case is. Well, looks like it's going to sit for a little bit. And over we go. Getting around pretty good. Went over to the other tree, I think. Let's see. And to see where it might have went. Well, I guess we can call that good then. Did the vanishing trick. Here comes a crow, trying to bother her a little bit. They're all programmed to do that, in case the red tail has food, trying to get her to drop it, so they can take it. 
Yeah, she told him where to go. <laughs> Watching the crows. We'll see what happens. Come in a little bit here. Looking for the mate to come back with some breakfast. All right, I think she may take off now. Crows are raising a little bit of a fuss. So that means the male might be coming back with some food. They're my early warning system. Relieve yourself. Then maybe take off. Hollering at the crows a little bit. They're coming into the dive bomb again. That's the routine. The red tail hawk nest. We'll be patient. And hopefully he's working his way back here with some breakfast. She's standing her ground, okay. Crows are coming in again. And off she goes. To the higher perch. She's hollering at the crows. And they're behind the limb, so we can call that pretty much good, I guess. Red tails having a little snack here. The other birds have been hollering. And I hear the fledgling up on the tree behind the leaves, so be interesting to watch the adult have a little breakfast here. I haven't been down in a couple of days. I'm glad I came down this morning because we get to observe a feeding of our adult red tail. Our lighting is pretty good. But the fledgling's hard to see. It goes from tree to tree now. It's hiding behind the leaves. And just got to get lucky. There she's hollering. Somebody dive-bombed her. Stellar jays get after her a little bit. She's got a good-sized prey item. Going to have a good meal here, a good breakfast. I'll watch and see how it goes this morning. I like to come down and keep checking up because the fledging will be in the area for a while. They just that he hides so well. One day he'll be out in the open and go in the nest and we'll get a video. But today is a perfect view of the adult. They get quite the variety of prey here great spot. Trying to look at the foot. It might be a coot. We'll see how it goes. Getting a good feast this morning. Caught a big mole. And we document a lot of feedings. I had a bunny one day, cottontail. What a great time to come down, right at breakfast time. We've documented the project from start to finish now, and they're still hanging out bringing in food for the fledgling. Yeah, we get lucky, we'll find him behind the leaves. There's our red-tailed hawk. Found him. Sitting up here in the hiding spot. 
I thought I would make a little video. Been looking for this one for quite a while. Been making the calls and lucked out. They can really hide. It's about 9.30 now in the morning. I figured if I keep looking and listening, I could find them. Sure enough, here this one is. I'll hang out for a little bit longer. And we'll see if another one shows up. Nice stretch, check that out. Beautiful. We enjoy that. We pretty much document the whole nesting cycle now and it's been a good project. And we'll see how this one does. Our lighting is coming in fairly good still, so we'll let it run. Able to give the regular red tail call. And I recognized it right away and kept checking and checking. Finally found the hiding spot in the tree. Here's a call. Looking up now. That was the adult making the call up above. There's always one out hunting and one guarding and I have quite a routine here. It was a good morning, we had filtered light. Well, I'll come in. In the mornings is the best time to get your videos because the lighting comes right in on my back. And that's what it looks like, red tail hawk nest. There's the adult up above hollering again. Keep a close eye on the fledgling. Well, let's see what's going to happen here. Turn around a little bit. And that's good. And give us both sides now. We like that. Call that lucky. Get the front and the back. fledgling. I'm going to preen the feathers a little bit. All excited down here. Oh, there's the adult. That's probably mama or above the fledgling. She's well hidden in the leaves. But we finally got this one out in the open where we can uh, Document the feathering is totally in juvenile plumage now. I'll back off and show you just how well they can hide up in here. That's how it goes. Back off a little more. The female is up above hollering a little bit. Somewhere is up in the leaves. See how hard it is to find them. All right, we'll call that good then. 